Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to set up Ionic and create an application. Though I'm doing this on a Mac, the process is essentially the same if you're on Linux or on Windows. The only one probably major difference is you can do iOS development or you can deploy it and test it on an iOS device simulator via Mac, whereas on Linux or on Windows you can own it you can only test and deploy it for Android. We'll have a separate video covering Android. So this tutorial is just gonna simply show you how to set up, create an application, and then just briefly touch on testing in iOS, because it's really simple to test it on iOS. First of all, you wanna make sure you've got node.js installed. We're not gonna be coding using node.js, it's just part of node.js, get npm, which is Node Package Manager. It's a great way of creating projects, integrating libraries, frameworks, that sort of stuff. A lot of frameworks and APIs nowadays are relying on the fact that you would have npm installed via node.js so i recommend learning node.js in your spare time anyway we've got a video series on it on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk there'll be a link in the description for that if you're interested but at the very least install it for npm so to do that just go to the node.js.org website and either just install the long-term support or the current one which has the latest features i recommend the long-term support the installation is self-explanatory once you've got that all set up you want to load up terminal and to confirm node.js has been set up properly with npm just type in the npm command and if you get something along these lines, fantastic. If you get something saying, okay, I'm gonna put npm ji. If you say, get something like command not found, then you know something's wrong. And just feel free to ask a question and we'll help out. So I'm just gonna clear this. The first step for this tutorial is to, is to install Cordova via npm. And to do that, you do sudo npm install dash g cordova click enter type your password in don't worry if it doesn't appear it is actually tracking what you're typing so just click enter once you're done and this will just download and install cordova cordova is just used to be able to get our application bundle it using a native wrapper which allows us to run it as a native application hence the whole point of using something like ionic this shouldn't take too long so just be patient okay you will probably have a lot more text than that if you're installing it for the first time because i've already installed it it's a okay for me on, if you're on Linux or you're on Windows, just make sure for Windows you've got something like the Java SDK, I mean the Java JDK, the Apache and, and Android SDK installed and set up because you'll need that for your Android development. If you just Google Java JDK, Apache and, and Android SDK, you can just get the latest version installed. It's very simple stuff. But on Mac, I don't need to do that unless I'm interested in Android dev. If you are, just make sure you install those prerequisites. So now we need to install Ionic in our system. So to do that, we do sudo npm install-g Ionic. Then I ask me for my password because it's the same instance of terminal and I had already typed it in once, but it usually would if, let's say, I close this terminal down, then I reopened it. And this shouldn't take long as well to install Ionic. And once this command's done, we've actually installed Ionic. We can create our Ionic application. That's the beauty of something like NPM. It allows you to set up, install, just by using a couple of simple commands instead of you know downloading something yourself, copying and pasting it somewhere and just hoping that it's in the right place then maybe setting up environment variables and bloody bloody blah, blah, blah it's also what another fantastic thing about npm let's talk about npm as a side note because this is just downloading and extracting another great thing about npm or something along those something like npm 
is when you're updating. When you're updating, you just run like an update command and it sorts out everything in your system. Okay, so this is installed. Again, you'll probably have a lot more output than this, but because I've already got installed, that's all I've got. Now, to create an application, I'm first just going to CD to our desktop. To create it, you'd put Ionic Start. Now, the name of your project, so I'm going to put Ionic App is awesome. And you can have a optional argument which is blank. If you run it with the blank argument, you basically just get a blank project that doesn't have nothing more than essentially a single page with a title text. But if you run it without the blank object, which I'm going to do, I recommend you do the same because it gives you a tabbed application where you've got tabs, different pages, and it's got a few controllers in there using AngularJS and it's a great way of learning how Ionic and AngularJS work and how they integrate with each other. But if you do want a blank project just add blank at the end. So I'll just wait for this to complete and then we can start diving into our code. So now it's just asking us, do we have, do we want to create an Ionic account for push notifications? If you're inter interested in that, just put yes, I'm just going to put no, just keep it simple. So now we're all done. So just go to our application. So this is our project if we go to platforms. By default, we have iOS in there, but that's only because I've created it on a Mac. If I created it on Windows or Linux, this will be empty and I would need to add the Android platform. I'm going to cover how to add the Android platform and how to build for Android and testing and all that other good stuff in a separate video because there's quite a lot of content to cover. The only thing I'm going to just show you in here is how to build for iOS and how to just quickly test it. So to build, first of all, you need to make sure you go to your directory, your new project. So mine is Ionic app is awesome. And to build it, you put Ionic, build iOS, set that run, and that will just build your project. Okay, I believe that's done now. Yep, that has now successfully done. I don't know why was this all on one line then. It's, it's sort of confusing, but that's built. So if we go to iOS, let's go open up this Xcode project. We can actually now run it. And in here we have our project. So let's just wait for this bad boy to run. So you can see this amazing tabbed application that you get by default. So here we go, it's all loaded up, and we got like a little welcome to Ionic, click chats. So this is just like a list view. It's got like a little page system, which is fantastic. It just provides a few different components to check out, see how it's all linked together, and actually just test it out. So, a few things to note. The code that you modify is all the code in this www folder. If you go to staging, you'll find another www folder. You don't want to touch this at all because when you modify the code in here and then run the ionic build iOS command, it actually copies any changes from here to this www folder. So you just want to leave this and modify it here. And that's the same for Android because if I just minimize this, <coughs> Sorry about that. This is the WW folder that it was referring to. So all changes you want to make within here. I actually recommend purely just using Xcode for just deploying to a simulator, testing it on a device, and just creating release versions, and only specific stuff for iOS, like version build and that sort of stuff. Generally speaking, I recommend coding using an external IDE or text data like Brackets or Sublime because the code formatting, the IntelliSense isn't very good in Xcode for 
web development and that's essentially what this is in terms of the sort of code that you're accessing the css javascript html and all that other good stuff but what i'm going to do is just open up this and in here actually no i'm not even going to do that i'm going to go to templates so if i open up if i open up the tab dash this one right here I'm going to make a slight modification to it. Instead of saying welcome to Ionic, I'm going to say welcome to Sonar System. So if I save that, close it, and I'm going to show you what happens if I run it without, with, without building it. So I've run that now. Application has launched. It still says welcome to Ionic because we need to run the build command, which is Ionic build iOS. And once this has built, build succeeded, close. For some reason, it closed the project. So let me just reopen that. It's weird why it closed it. So the updates have now been copied over. So if I run it now, after running the build command, Oh, sorry, I ran the Cordova lib instead of the actual project. I was, I was just sitting here like a lemon, thinking, why the hell is this not working? So if I just let this open up, and as you can see, it says, welcome to Sonar System. So that's one thing to know. You need to always run the Ionic build iOS command within our project directory, and then you can just run it via Xcode. And that's it for this video on setting up an Ionic application. If you have any questions, feel free to post it on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There will be a link in the description to that. We're gonna have a separate video on testing the application, coding using Ionic. We're gonna have a separate video on how to build and test on a Android device, adding the Android platform and all of that other good stuff. So look out for that video. If you have any questions, like I said, just feel free to post it on our education platform. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.